Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Missouri map. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm Polish people who are watching, I do apologize for butchering the name of the map. This is a Polish map that's on Giants Mod Hub that I kind of stumbled across. Um, the night before last. I was going to say last night. It's last night for me, the night before last for you guys. And uh, I quite like it. Now, we're going to be starting off this map by mowing. Now, that seems like a very odd thing to do, doesn't it? You know, mowing to start the map. And the reason is very simple. You start off with field 19 here. Which has no crop in it. Fuel 23 here, which has no crop in it. Uh, fuel 22 here, which has no crop in it. Fuel 6 here, which has no crop in it. And Fuel 5 here, which has no crop in it. Um, so to start the map, you really have two choices. You can seed or you can mow. Uh, you're supposed to seed. I, of course, have swapped out the machinery. We're starting out the uh, world's noisiest zetter, the 12045 from the mod hub. You also have a Kirovets, because of course we do. You can see over there we've got the pink Case IH Puma CVX for breast cancer awareness. It is going to be making an appearance on this map for the time being. We also have, in terms of Harvester, a Rost Sulmash Acros 595+. Plus. Now we also... We have more equipment than this. Um, most of it's still over at the shop area, which I'll get to later, hopefully. But, uh... I suppose let's get the map started by doing a bit of mowing in our Zetter. I do have, you might not be able to see it too well, but I do have crop destruction turned on on this map, so uh, I am going to be, have to be very, very careful when I'm driving around and getting into fields and whatnot. So, this is a map that... It, I, I, I'm going to talk about how I found the map very quickly. I was looking for a different map to play, because it's all well and good me having two maps, but I've, I've kind of noticed that the streams have been... And there's a secondary reason that I'll get to in a little bit. The streams have been kind of... Oh, well, we're playing West Coast, we're playing West Coast, we're playing West Coast, we're on Upton, we're playing West Coast, we're playing West Coast. And that's kind of okay, but I didn't like kind of spamming West Coast streams, so what I'm going to do is I've got this map, and it's... You know, we're going to do videos on it. We... I'm dropping Upton temporarily. Uh, until the map is closer to be coming out. Because from what I can understand, I haven't spoken to Lancey about this <laughs> at all, so he's, he might be very angry. Um, but from what I can understand, he's having issues with technical stuff with the map. And um, without coming across as mean or hating on Lancey or whatever, that's his weakest point. He, he struggles with the technical stuff with mapping. And, uh, you know, as much as I enjoy his maps... They can be a bit technically weak at times, and, uh, yeah, that's something he just can't control right now. He's got, he's got other things on his mind. Um, you know, it'd be, you know, they'd be much better if he could get to grips with the technical stuff, but it's so mind-boggling and so, just so insane that sometimes you just have to give up while you're ahead. Uh, now, I don't know... I should mention if these are giants grass fields. They seem to be. They are not. Ah, so I'll have to. Okay, that's added. A, that's thrown a wrench into the the works here because I was hoping these were giants grass fields. These are going to have really low yield. Interesting. Okay. Um. That's really thrown a spanner in the works, actually, because I was planning on uh, working these and being like, oh, okay, we're good, and we can just let them grow up again. No, we've got to plow these fields, it seems. I don't know if that's an intentional thing on the map, uh, map maker's side, or if it's, you know, something that they didn't even think about. But, uh, yeah, that's going to make things interesting. Now, you might have noticed this map, quite large in terms of fields at times. You start off with some of the smallest fields on the map, and realistically, if you're playing this as a progression map, which I might or might not, you're going to be trying to get field 4. Uh, now, if you're d extremely cheeky, you just mow all the grass fields, which you're kind of given. Uh, you plough them all up, and then you... Well, you make silage out of it, don't you? And sell all the silage, and hopefully, maybe, you'll be able to afford field 4, which costs, if I teleport over here... That's field 15... 
That's field four. Field four costs 1.1 million pounds or dollars or whatever currency you wish to use. So it's not cheap. We're going to do, uh, by the way, probably about four headlands on this field. I'm going to skip the end bit here because it's just going to merge into one anyway. We are using the class Disco more because I don't feel I feel like I don't use this more enough. I know that I've got a... You guys might know I've got a fascination with side after set mowers. It's because I really, really like them. They're some of the easiest to use because you don't need to worry about, oh, well, am I driving, you know, as far, you know, the correct distance away from where I just was? Well, it doesn't matter because... Hey, you just drive down the middle of the previous windrow, or the previous row, and hey, you're, look, you're mowing reasonably well. Um, fun fact, that's why I like using these things, is because I don't need to think. Even with the uh, front mower attached as well, which I can't do on this because I don't have a front hydraulic link. This is just a trailer link on the front. Uh, and that was intentional, by the way. Uh, I don't even with the, the, the front mower attached it's very easy because you just intentionally do it so that hey look the front mower is picking up all the grass in front of me and the side mower is picking up all the grass to the right you drive down you know with the, the crop pretty much directly in front of you but the edging to your left so that it's a lot easier um, now I would have loved to do a harvest today but obviously that's just not possible <laughs> I'm afraid um if it comes to the point... Oh, by the way, I will be switching creative money on and off at random uh, for a little bit, just to make sure that I've got everything that I need. I know we've got 300,000. I'll be... Uh, actually, I might just spend the money we have here, because there's 300,000. That should be able to buy anything that I've forgotten. Including, I've just realized, a wrapper for the silage. Because I've got a round... Uh, do I want to make silage or do I want to make hay? Hay is worth less, but I don't think I want to min-max on this map too much. I just want to get... Honestly, I don't want, I don't feel like seeding today, is the thing. It's, what, 10 minutes to 10 at night on Monday, last night. I've been extremely lazy today. I didn't get out of bed until, like, 6 p.m., maybe a bit later. Actually, it was after 6, because I remember seeing, like, 10 past 6 on my phone before I got out of bed. Um, p.m. And, yeah, today was just one of those days where I, I just lie in bed all day and say, no, I'm not doing anything. Uh, and then I realized that I had no video for today. Good. So I'm recording this. I'll hopefully get all the rest of the video. i hopefully go to bed early-ish. And uh, get all the rest of the videos for the week recorded uh, today as you're watching. Hopefully, uh, no, I was going to say hopefully by the time you're watching this. No, this is going live at 7 a.m. Um... By the way, actually, question while I'm thinking about it. Uh, are you guys getting notifications for videos? Obviously, if you're watching, you might be. But are they showing up in sub boxes and stuff? Um, because I noticed yesterday's video, today's video, as I'm recording, uh, got very, very few views. Was that because nobody wanted to watch it or because it wasn't showing up? That is the big question I have. Um, and you know, oh, oh, in other West Coast news, because I'm sure people... Are wondering what the deal is with West Coast and why Bill Bill maybe has been a bit quiet recently. Uh, he has had some family issues going on. He's made this public so I can talk about it. Um, he said it in Landy's stream last week at some point, but I wasn't going to uh, repeat it until he decided, if he wanted to, make it public. Um, his dad had a heart attack recently, and he's kind of been distracted by that. So if you're a console player and you're wondering what's the deal with the West Coast, why isn't it coming to console qu quickly? It's because, honestly, Bullet Bill's got bigger concerns. Um, and I'd like to just, you know, wish his dad the absolute fastest recovery possible and hope everything goes well for him. Because I can imagine <laughs> Bill is, is terrified right now. And rightly so. So. Yeah, console players, you'll have to just deal with West Coast not being on console right now and deal with delays because I've had so many people tell me this and I say this myself so much. Family comes before anything else and Bullet Bill's got to deal with his family right now. 
He's got to put that first. He's got to put himself first. And rightly so. So if you want West Coast on consoles, be patient. I'm sure he'll find time to work on it eventually. He's just got bigger problems uh, to deal with. So this mo actually, this field is a lot smaller than I thought, I'll be honest. <laughs> I was kind of expecting this to take almost half an hour. It's taken ten minutes so far. I'm going to have to teleport over to the shop at some point. Because I've got all my equipment in the yard. This has kind of gone wrong. Uh, because I've got the windrower and tedder over at the yard. Over at the shop still. Because now I wasn't... Um, I wasn't expecting this mowing to not take very long. I could always do a second field, but I think that you guys are just getting, you know, get bored and click away. So <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> as tempting as it is and as relaxing as mowing is for me, I'm not going to do that. I might do some mowing off camera though, because I like mowing. Uh, no, I won't. Because I have been, last night, I opened Gi Giant's Editor again. I've been working on my map again. Uh, I say I've opened Giant's Editor again. I've had it open and closed a few times when I was working on uh, on various things. Because, you know, if you're doing a mod edit, you open up in GE just to make sure that everything still looks right. Um, and occasionally you, you, I'll open a map in GE just to see how things were done. Because I've got that curiosity. Um, but I've got mine going again. Uh, it's not going to be very quick progress because I'm doing stuff that's insanely boring. And it, it's kind of like, uh, I'm going to do like three fields and then give up for the night. And then do another three fields and give up for the night. Or give up for an hour. Or give up for two hours or whatever. Uh, but I am going to start at night working on the map again. I might do a mapping stream again sometime soon. So in the comments, leave your comments below if you want to see um, a mapping stream again. Because I know there's a lot of people around my channel in particular who are really, really interested in the ins and outs of how mods actually get made. Because all... Let's face it, all you ever see of mods is the finished product. Really. You maybe see a few work in progress pictures, but you, you rarely get to see the actual work get done. You rarely get to see the sheer boringness that is GE. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say it's boring because it is at times. You know, when I'm working on the map, I usually have something open on my second screen that if I start getting bored, I can just look over and be like, "Huh, that's funny," and move on again. Um, whether it's a stream or a video or like I'm usually on Teamspeak while I'm doing it, just so that I don't fall asleep. Um, especially with what I'm doing right now, which is lay laying out field headlands, which is as boring as it sounds. Um, it's literally me setting up the brush at a very specific width and then filling in bits of the field and then going around the entire field and be like, okay, well now that's a headland done and now I'm going on to the next field to do the exact same thing. Um, and I've got like 70 fields to do, but less, because there, there are 70-ish fields on the map, but there's not as many that need to be done. Um, I am not looking forward, however, to field definitions. Because <laughs> I know uh, some mappers, I'm not going to name names, Lancey, uh, <laughs> some mappers like just making square field definitions and saying, oh, well, I'm not going to do missions. Well, that, yeah, that's fine. Some uh, like put a bill, put basic, very rudimentary field defs into some fields, and then do like uh, a certain number ready for missions, uh, like what's on the West Coast. And some, like, I think this map might be one of them. Uh, although, if you look at the field shapes, they're very blocky. Uh, possibly to suit the way field defs work. Because uh, the, the field def method is terrible. Um, there are so many good things about Giants Editor, but the way Giants have decided to do field defs is a complete and utter joke. You know, I, I'm going to talk about technical stuff for a second. The way... Um, Animal nav meshes is done, which is, you know, how the animals walk around, is you paint it down, it, you know, comes up with a nav mesh based on that. The way field devs work is you place down a bunch of rectangles. Or a bunch of quadrilaterals. And that's your field devs. And there can be literally hundreds per field because it's just not thought out very well. Um, 
if giants were to use the same method for field depths as they do for... I'm just going to teleport to here. Yes. If giants use the same method for field depths as they do for... Uh, what is it? The, the nav meshes. It would actually be, number one, easier for mappers to do um, potentially weird shaped fields like what you'd see in the UK and Ireland. And number two, more importantly, a lot faster to do them. So this, by the way, is the... I've forgotten what it is. It's the Kuhn... Tender... The, uh, the Deutz Condemaster. Uh, 8331. It's quite a good tether. I'm not using the uh, the fancy one this time around. I'm going to use something basic. We're going to use kind of more basic rudimentary equipment on this map. I think it could be uh, a good fit. I'm not saying Poland is basic and rudimentary. I'm just saying that, you know, it's not... There's not the money there in farming in, the East, in uh, Eastern Europe. We'll put it that way. So, machines and equipment, by necessity, are... A bit rougher around the edges than you'd see in Ireland, the UK, in the US at times. Or at least from what I've seen. I could be wrong. Um, although, there's not a lot of money in Irish farming, so you see the most hilarious combinations of equipment in the world. Um, and occasionally, a tractor that's so rusted you wonder how it's even stayed together. And I have seen that. A tractor that was, from what I could see, almost entirely rust. And... I still don't know how it was running. I think it was a Ford 5000 with a cab. It might have been something a bit newer than that, but it was an oldish tractor and it was it was just brown. It was just just brown. And the only reason I knew it was a Ford was you could see the little specks of blue from where the paint still was. Um And this, uh, this wasn't in Farmson, this was in real life. I saw this, driving down the road with the trailer on the back. Um, yeah. Sometimes you just wonder how that even is possible. I should probably, I just realized I should probably have got like a, a red tether. Because that would have been, that would have looked a bit cooler. Um, I do have plans, by the way, to use some even smaller equipment on this map than... I usually do, uh, but I'm trying to figure out how on earth I'm going to do it. I'd like to use the hay bobs, but just for the sake of efficiency, I don't know how to work them in. I mean, I could um, go around and windrow the field and then just bob the windrows, which, you know, is, is what some people do with them uh, in-game. I know in real life you'd ted and use the hay bobs first, and then even... I know uh, the Funky Farmer does this. Use the hay bobs to uh, windrow up the field afterwards. I'm just going to drive straight down roughly the middle of this bit. It's not quite the middle of the field, I don't think. It might be, actually. Very, very roughly. That's a very, very rough straight line as well, Dave. Um, we're going to just drive down this way. You can see that all the tyres are leaving marks, which means that if I were to drive this unfolded over a field, it would make an absolute disaster. So we're just going to cut the field in half here. And uh, with the tether laid down still, because I have woo, reason to believe I think I've got auto... Hang on. Uh, do I have... autosave turned on? I'm trying to find... Auto save. There is no auto save. Auto save in triple zero. So no, there's no auto save. Why was that lagging then? Interesting. You can see I've disabled withering. Um, I've got this set up pretty much the same as I did Upton, I believe. Uh, normal difficulty. Uh, manual engine start because it just it's easier. I can kind of abandon equipment and come back to it later. Uh, normal growth rate with no withering. Because again, it's easier. No forced ploughing. Uh, although the grass fields, just the way they're done, it is going to be, it is forcing me to plough them up, um, and that's kind of fine. I'll get a plough at some point. And one step fertilisation, because you guys don't want to see me 
you know, fertilizing constantly on both maps. I think the West Coast is suited to three stage, just because I can do it three different. You know, there's three different ways I can do it. Um, if not more. So we are kind of starting from scratch here, and uh, I know that I'm not very far into Upton, but it, it, with the knowing that I don't know when the map is going to come out, I think it's unfair to keep playing Upton right now and. You know, pretend like it's going to come out soon. Honest answer is I don't know when it's coming out. This thing actually can't be raised, I've just realised. Um, it's not fair, you know, showing the map off to you guys and saying, no, you can't have this because it's not out yet. It, uh, I prefer to just swap onto a different map temporarily. Um, and, you know, even if Upton releases, we'll say, tomorrow, this is going to be a stream-only map uh, if I swap back to Upton immediately. Because I like the idea of playing a different map with a different style. I have noticed that up to the West Coast I've got a lot of the same ideas going on. So it kind of... I think it's better that I'm doing this differently. Also, all the bales I'm going to make on this map are going to be round bales. So there will be problems, I've just realised. And I'm going to have to think about you know, how exactly I want to bale. Um, so it's not going to be as straightforward as a lot of the maps. You might also have noticed that I've gone for a different windrower than usual. I've gone for the Rook RT-1000, just because I rarely use that thing. And uh, it was, yeah, I wanted to use it. Hey, I'm not going to make excuses. I just wanted to use that thing for a bit. Um... I know I could have used the use the Kuhn Swath Master Mega Swather. Um, and that would do the exact same thing, but I fancy showing you a mod equivalent uh, for if you don't want to get the Kuhn DLC, which, you know, perfectly fine if you don't. Um, it's a bit of a shame that there's no mod version or mod equivalent of the, ba uh, the Combi Bailer. Uh, just now, or the square bale wrapper for that matter. Because if there was, I'd, want, I'd actually want to show you that. Uh, there's also no mod equivalent of the Big Bud, which may be for the best, because Giant's Big Bud is actually amazing, and I love it. Uh, and it is activated on this map, so there might be some Big Bud action in time. So that's that Ted it up. We're making some really good progress today, wow. Uh, we are going to have to jump over the shop once again to grab the Windrower, or the Swather, uh, as it is. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a fun map to try and bail on. I've just realized the limitation I've made for myself is going to cause massive problems. Uh, Dave, you absolute genius. Although at least you guys can't complain about me driving through hedges, because there are none. Um... So let's get the Windrower Swather thing. I thought for a second there that I'd broken everything by teleporting into a tree. Um, if you're wondering how I'm teleporting, by the way, that's the TARDIS teleport mod. Uh, really, really useful. You can see that I'm using, as well, a rather rudimentary sprayer. It's just a tank with some... Well, all sprayers are like, you know, just a tank with some arms. But it, it, seem, it just looks a bit more basic than... Uh, a lot of the stuff. This is the Rook RT-1000, by the way. We'll teleport it over to the field now. I can't give you a number because it's just... It's the heart-shaped field, I guess. Um, and we'll need to unfold this and figure out which way it's going to want to go. And it is going to the left. Okay, so... Is it going to the left? I want to say it's going to... Yeah, it's going to the left, so we'll have to start wind or swathing from this side here. Just plonk it down, and away we go. And if you haven't already guessed, we are going to just merge uh, two into one here. We'll swath one way, and then the other going in the opposite direction. Or, I guess... Technically, we could... Um, just swath and then go along beside it, but I think it would make just as much sense to go one way and then back in the other direction to get a mega swath going so that we pick up the most possible with the baler uh, in one pass and we get 
Just the easiest bailing pass as possible, really. Uh, now, as you can hear the clicking, I am, of course, on keyboard again. Um, by choice this time, I just couldn't be bothered putting the wheel in and sorting all that stuff out, because there's stuff under my desk still. And that would involve some effort to get rid of and to sort out. And Hopefully by the end of the week, uh, I'll be back to normal with all of the good stuff that you guys are used to. This is uh, yeah, actually going a lot faster. I Genuinely, when I started, I thought, oh, well, I'll get the mowing done today at least. I didn't expect to get the heading done. I certainly didn't expect to be um, finished at least the first headland with the, uh, the swather. This is, a, this is a very pleasant surprise. And you can see that it's... In real life, you probably wouldn't get it as this clean of a dele or demarcation between, you know, the grass that has been cut and the windrow, but it is doing rather well. It's a nice wide uh, swather as well, which is always an advantage. We're just going to swather this up into a point here, roughly speaking. There we go. And now, we just turn a 180 and start swathing back down in this direction to get the mega swath. And that is a windrow and a half, good lord. I may have made a mistake in deciding on this. Because in in oh good lord. In real life you might probably wouldn't have windrows this big most of the time. That's possibly a bit excessive, Dave. It's almost definitely a bit excessive, Dave. Holy cow, that end bit's gonna be fun to bail. I get the feeling my tractor's going to get stuck on the end bit. So I just turned it off so I can pull off this turn. And yeah, single headland is more than enough. Okay, I may have made a stupid decision here. I may swap to a slightly smaller wind drawer. Because this is a bit excessive. And by a bit, I mean I, don't, I genuinely don't know if I'm going to be able to get over some of these swaths uh, without getting the tractor and or baler stuck. I don't know why I raised... Raising that does nothing. Uh, especially with windrows this big. It would have picked up the windrow regardless. Um, yeah, wow. I'm... I'm kind of lost for words at how insane these windrows actually are. I think a smaller windrower may be in order. Because <laughs> that's, that's a bit excessive. Even by my standards of, you know, I'll do the silliest thing possible sometimes. This is a bit, <laughs> this is a bit excessive. <laughs> There's almost nothing left in the middle of the field. <laughs> I've made a beautiful, beautiful mistake. Let's finish the wind drawing here and done. That's the headland done. <laughs> is this the swather is actually jumping over the windrow? That's amazing. So let's get our uh, first uppy downy bit done. Possibly, well, no, there'll be another like half windrow. <laughs> Oh, Dave, you absolute idiot. Um, maybe I should have just done loops. Well, let's get a... Yeah, why not do another Mega Windrow? Why not? Um, in fact, there is a temptation now to just make an absolute Mega Windrow out of all of this. But no, no, not, not today, Dave. You're going to do this sensibly. He says, looking at the giant Windrows around the field. Um... I, I, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to swap Windrower after this. Because um, the reason I chose this was kind of twofold. Number one, um, it's, you know, an alternative to the Kuhn uh, Swathmaster, or whatever it's called. And number two, it's not a two-rotor Windrower, which I've been using kind of to almost excess recently. I'm actually going to have to swap to a two-rotor Windrower. Um... 
just because this is honestly way too big. Just way, way, way too big. It's not stupid. Well done, Dave. Let's actually, just because it's, it's, yeah, no, bye. <laughs> and we'll get the, um, in-game wind roar, I guess. There we go, that's, that problem kind of sorted. We'll need to teleport over to the shop, and I know we're running a small bit over time, but I do want to get, yeah. Do want to get the bailing started so I can at least see how insane this is going to be. It's going to be bails pretty much immediately. Um, so let's get teleported up here to right at the start of the field. Beautiful. Uh, going downhill might be the best option because then I can stop the bails with the bailer. Oh boy. Let's see how this does. Okay. Well, it's not bails immediately, at least. We made it about 20, 30 meters before we needed to drop off a bale. This is going to be many, many hay bales. Um, but that is going to do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll leave it by saying, I've been Rainbow Dave. You've been watching... Uh, farming Simulator 17 on the Misery map. The Misery map? I'm not sure how to pronounce it at all. I'm sure if I've got some Polish viewers that they'll be more than happy to shout at me and tell me that I'm pronouncing everything wrong. And using all of the wrong equipment. But until next time, stay safe. And goodbye.